White knows how to navigate a route, whether that's running routes on the football field or navigating the international route to realize his college football dreams. A little surreal that it's now the end because it just feels like yesterday that I was a little freshman walk-on. White hails from Canada, a country known for hockey, but with an under-the-radar football scene. Growing up, White competed in American football in hopes of following in his family's footsteps as his father played in the Canadian Football League. Sometimes I tell my hockey coach, like, I got fo football practice today or whatever, and he'd be like, why do you play football? You got to pick and choose, but I kind of, I want to do it all. I want to play hockey, football, soccer, as much as I could for as long as I can. But before he became one of the top wide receivers in the Big Sky Conference at Montana, White's journey was anything but normal or easy. Football is spread out in Canada, and White played on a high school roster of 24, but he was talented enough to play for the U16 and U18 Team Canada squads. That is where athletes up north find the best path to college recruitment. White had offers all across Canada, but he knew he wanted to get his shot at NCAA football in the United States. Those two summers, I would just go down to camps. I'd go down to the skills camps that schools would put on, and me and my dad would just hop in the car and drive down the coast, stop at UW, Oregon. I went all the way down to Arizona for a camp, Texas, various stops just trying to get myself out there. And but offers were scarce until one day, White was contacted by the Grizz coaching staff after seeing his film, and eventually, assistant coach Brent Pease found himself in North Vancouver, British Columbia in February of 2019, meeting with White. He randomly asked, like, do you have your cleats? And I was like, yeah, I have my cleats. He's like, go put them on. We'll run some routes. And I was like, I don't have any shorts. I was wearing, like, joggers and a T-shirt, just, like, regular school clothes. And he's like, yeah, I, got my, I, I have my cleats in my football bag in the locker room. So, yeah, go grab your cleats. We'll run some routes. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I went and grabbed my cleats, went out to the frozen grass, and uh, he ran me through routes in my school clothes. And he's like, yeah, no, I, I like you. White made his way to Missoula as an international walk-on. And after some early trials and challenges, he was able to earn a scholarship to ease the financial burden on his family and since he's blossomed year by year white has improved on the field and having adopted a spider-man theme and moniker as part of his on-field persona white just played in his 50th career game for montana this past weekend he's amassed over 1500 career receiving yards as well as 12 touchdowns and knowing where he came from and what he's been through to prove himself it's something held near and dear to the former walk-on turned standout for the Montana Grizzlies. Even in Canada, there are people who are like that's, that's never going to happen. You're Canadian, they, like they're not going to trust you. They're not. They don't know who, who you are. Blah, blah blah. All this other stuff is huge, just to prove not only to them but to myself that I could do it. And now here, playing in a national championship last year, and everything has just been. It's meant a lot. Reporting in Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.